<laughs> hey everybody, this is Wolfin' Out. And, and Cypher. Hey, now we are doing a mod spotlight. Yay! Oh yeah. Our very first one, and we are excited. We are doing we are mod spotlighting Machine Muse's modular power suit. Now just so you know. This is a very long mod spotlight, so we've broken it up into two pieces. The first part goes over all the modules, all the recipes, how to make the armor, what you're going to need, how to power the armor. The second part might be a little bit more fun for you. We test this armor using all sorts of different types of weapons and magic, comparing it to quantum armor, nanosuit armor, and the uh, gravitational armor, using nano sabers, diamond swords, enchanted swords, magic spells, and the Vajra, oh, there it is, the ultimate power weapon. We use all that stuff. How's it compare? You're going to have to keep watching to find out. Hey, everybody. This is Wolfin' Out. And I'm on the server with... Me. Yay, it's me. I mean, Cypher. <laughs> Cypher. Well, today, my friends, is a groundbreaking moment for NMO. Why is that, Cypher? Oh, um, because I think we're doing our first mod spotlight for modular power armor. Do, 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 do. Well, it's just not, we... it's not just our first mod light, mod spotlight for modular armor. Oh, it's our first mod spotlight ever, and it is groundbreaking as you can see at your feet here. Sorry. Oh, that is amazing. I feel broken already. <laughs> so the, yes, this is going to be our first mod spotlight uh, for a mod that both of us are totally in love with. We are doing Machine Muses modular power suits. Actually, it's called modular mm -hmm. power suit. And uh, let's get started. This is what quickly has become one of my favorite mods. Uh, I don't even want to live without this mod, practically. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's just get to the beans. The first thing you need, really, to get anywhere in this mod is you need the tinker table. And you can see I'm holding that in my hand. Let me show you the recipe. We've got two recipes here. This is the industrial craft recipe. This is the thermal expansion recipe. Now, there is also a vanilla recipe and a Greg Tech recipe, but because I don't have Greg Tech on the server, you don't see it, and because we're not using vanilla, it gets overridden. So I don't even know what the vanilla one is, but it's a lot easier. It, it, depending on how hard the, mo the mods you're using are, depends on how hard it is to make. So you see here, we've got thermal expansion, IC2. You make the, you need the tinker table, or you can't do anything with this with this armor. So let's lay it down. Now, what we got here is you is when you click on it, it tells us there's no modular power suit items found in my inventory, so I have to make some. Otherwise, we can't do anything. So let's check those out, I guess. Power, so here they are. You can see you've got your four pieces of armor, or, and you've got your power tool, which is awesome. All right, here's, how, here's how you make them. Again, there's two, arm, there's two recipes, thermal expansion, IC2. So you've got refined iron and electronic circuits for the helmet. The torso, again, is iron circuits or iron and wiring. The legs, same thing. It's all, you can see it's the same recipes for basic armor. It's all the same. It's crazy. Except you're using the wiring, refined iron, and wet. And then the power tool uses slightly different. So let's grab one of each of these for us, shall we? Okay, so now we've got everything. But this armor is no good. It will provide you no protection. Let's put it on. It'll provide us no armor protection. As you can see, I have no armor. But you look really cool. But I look... I, I Actually, I still look the same. Right? Oh. Don't I? Uh, there. No, it looks good. There we go. There we go. So there... That's what I look like. But it doesn't give me... As you can see, I have no armor bar. Down here, there's no armor bar because this armor is worthless. It's just pretty right now. Now when you enter the table though, if you look, you can see all these pieces are sitting here because each of these pieces has its own special properties. So say we click on the feet here. You can see we've got three levels of armor. Now this applies to every single piece of armor. You can make your iron plating, your diamond plating, or your energy shield, and then this as well is on every single piece. What kind of energy are you gonna have? A basic battery, your advanced battery, or an elite battery. And then down here, like movement, these are special to the boots, and each one has their own special thing. And then we've got cosmetic, which allows you to change the colors, because as you see, Cypher has, is digging a different color outfit there. Mm -hmm. Or you can have the transparent armor, which, uh, why don't you go do that with your helmet right now? I will do that with my helmet right now. Boom. Now he's still wearing his helmet, it's just mm -hmm. transparent, so now we can see his face. 
So the, each armor has that, and then you've got the Citizen Joe style, which is just an alternative style um, for your armor to have a different look to it. Let's get started. This is where the fun part goes. Now, obviously, the, the idea here is that you can start this armor off real early in game. You just make it weak. So you say you'd have iron plating. Well, you need basic plating. I think I have some of that in my inventory right here. Basic plating. The recipe for that, you can see again, we have two recipes. Is the iron in the circuit or a tin gear and iron and get you the one basic plating. With that in your inventory, all it needs to be is an inventory. I can install it now on my feet. Now here's one of the cool things about this mod, is you can change the, 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 um, um, the, it's tinkering. You can tinker with a lot of these abilities, making them weaker or stronger. That is awesome. So we take the plating thickness here, and if I drag it, look at that. So now I can drag it up to give me five points of armor, but if you notice, it gets heavier. That is an important factor later. So we crank that up to five. Now when I put the boots on, you'll notice I have some armor. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Oh, uh, yeah. So you can see I've got a little bit now. And you can do so basically with the basic armor, you can start off fairly early. Of course, as you get more, you're going to want diamond plating, which of course is advanced plating, which we have here, which you can see the recipe is diamonds and an advanced circuit or an Invar gear. But it takes five diamonds to make one of these plates. Now, one of these plates is all you need, though. Now, you don't want to stack multiple armors up. It doesn't do any good. It will just make it heavier. But, of course, so let's go ahead. We can salvage this armor down here. Ba boom gone. Let's get diamond. We install that. If we crank that up to max, you can see it weighs less, and it gives us six points. It gives us one point more of armor. Yay. That's something to write home about. Indeed. I'm ready right now. <laughs> you better be. Get your mom here. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> so, now, so now you see we actually weighs less and you get even more armor but let's salvage that and let's get to the best one the energy shield now this requires two force field emitters this gets expensive force field emitters requires four ender pearls and an advanced circuit and then four of these solenoids or two wirings an unattuned tesseract from and these now these solenoids require a machine block and the wiring or iron and wiring and the wiring requires you can see copper silver or this so it builds up when you have to make a lot of them but of course by having it we install it and you can tinker it now the cool thing about this there's no weight that is the cool thing there is no weight on the energy shield and you can see it maxed out at six points again but there's no weight so it doesn't increase our armor any we just don't have any weight. Now you don't see anything there because we actually need power to run this. So you see we've got our basic batteries, our and basically the only thing with the battery is how much it takes to, how much power each battery holds. That's all. So if we install this, you can see max energy will increase your weight, 100 kilojoules, but it gives you 10 grams. Let's move up. Advanced battery mm -hmm. requires the NV capacitor, 10 because it doesn't, the weight doesn't go down at all but it holds 500 kilograms. And if we get rid of that, we get our elite battery, which requires the high voltage capacitor. You see the weight doesn't change at all, but now it holds five megajoules. So it basically just gives you more weight. That's the, that's the gist of it. It gives you more power. Each one can hold more power. So kind of what you're saying is that even though the energy field gives you, equal, you know, great armor value, uh, to power the energy field, you need a battery, and the battery is where it's going to get you with the weight. So Correct. the more, the heavier or the higher capacity the battery, the more weight we're going to be putting onto this armor, right? That is correct, and we'll demonstrate what happens with the weight in a moment. Why it's important to pay attention to the weight, and why it's nice when you have once you get to the point that you have all energy shields, because then you can increase your battery size and have more space for battery space because you don't have any weight from your shield like you do when you have the diamond or iron mm. okay so now we've actually got power on this thing so you see the armor has appeared but right now it's basic armor now this is now we get into cool stuff look at that shock absorber jet boots oh let me show you the, the recipes real quick for the for the capacitors we have the low voltage capacitor which is easy to make you look at that we've got silver gold paper wiring 
or a battery and two wiring. Okay. Or we've got the high voltage, that's the low, where's the high voltage? There's the medium voltage, you can see is an energy conduit and wiring, or an energy crystal and wiring. And the high voltage is, of course, very expensive. You need an energy cell for full frame and two wiring, or a Lapatron crystal. So a bit expensive for that. But totally worth it, trust me. And let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now you've got your shock absorber, which allows you to basically fall, no fall damage. And you've got jet boots. You see, they're not as strong as a jetpack, but they can counteract gravity. And for that, you're going to need two ion thrusters. And for this, you need two wool, that's it, and two servo motors. So let's install both of those. Ugh, I do not have any wool. Mm. I was not anticipating wool. Ugh. Wool. So wool, we install it. Now you can change it here, and you see distance reduction and consumption. So basically, you can decide how powerful do you want these boots. At max, you can fall any distance. But as you lower it, you'll fall less and less, but you use up less power. So it depends on how much power you have in your suit. depends on how much you want to go. But at max, you can fall infinitely, basically. And same with the boots. You can adjust how powerful you want the thrusters to be, but it eats up more power. Let's get rid of that. Now here, watch. Now we've got boots on, and I can... These are the jet boots. I don't know if you can infinitely go up, but these are max power. Cypher's coming up to join us. It looks like you can, but you can't move forward. See, as soon as you move forward, you fall. Um, because they're just... It's basically the jet boots just give you that up. I can get... Like, I could... Here, get a little boost. Look at that. I'm getting some boosts up. But as soon as you go forward, you're going down. They can't handle that. Now, you need this table anytime you want to get in and change anything. Yeah, so let's change down. Let's change the shock absorber, for say. And I'll fly up. Now, now I lowered it to about half, so it requires less power. Hello. Oh, hello. hello. Oh, hi there. And then we'll see what happens here. There. Ooh, I took four hearts of damage on that. You did. So you can see there. You can see... It just depends. You have to juggle power consumption with actual power that you want. And there you go. That's the boots. Now, those ion thrusters are expensive. Where are they? Ion thrusters right here. Ion thruster. Check it out. You need force field emitters. You need advanced machine block, advanced circuits. You need these solenoids, or you need invars. And remember, the force field emitters was all of this. So these thrusters are quite expensive, whereas the servo motors are not. Machine block, it's a little iron intensive, but a little circuit, two solenoids, or you can use a pneumatic servo, and the solenoid was this thing. So, not near as expensive. Okay, so I think now you've seen the boot, and pretty much everything uses those items. We've gone through all the recipes. Everything uses the circuits. We haven't done the control circuit yet, but everything uses those solenoids. It uses capacitors, thrusters. Pretty much all the recipes, almost all of them, are going to require those items. So now we just need to see the cool stuff that's on every piece of armor. So let's just install the Elite Battery for now. We'll crank up the armor so we have full armor for now. Now check out the legs have sprinting, jumping higher, swimming faster, and uphill step assist. And of course we have the transparent armor, the custom, the Citizen Joe, we have all that. So sprint assist, let's install that. Now this gives you, you can walk faster, so we can increase your walking speed, which increases your, um, how fast you walk, but of course your power changes, and it increases your sprint. So the sprint assist, you can walk faster, you have more power, and then compensation is your hunger, I think. It allows you, the higher the compensation is, if you have that all the way down and you sprint at like the full power suit speed, you're going to get hungry very fast. So you crank up the compensation to try to compensate for that. So here's walking at full speed with these boots. Nothing is happening. That's embarrassing. Oh, because I don't have the legs on. Duh. Here we go. <laughs> so this is just me walking at the full walking speed. Now here, Cypher has his boots at what, about half walking speed? Yeah, how about half speed? All right, so come over next to me. And we'll just start walking. All right. All right, ready? Go. Ready. And we'll walk to this hole over here. Now, if I stop and turn around, 
Check him out. He's way back there. And so he his boots are on about half speed. And if I sprint, check that out. Now there we go. I can as I'm running, I'm using a jump and I get that power boost. So that from the boot thrusters. So there Jesus you go. fast. I know, you're like, Whoa. <laughs> So uh yeah, so that's cool. I love it. Again, it's all about power consumption. How much do you power are you willing to compensate for? I don't like the full walk assist, but I do like full power for sprinting and, of course, compensation. Now, we've now, got now the walk assist, we should mention, too. Now, as you start to have a lot of weight on here, the walk assist, by increasing the walk assist, may help counter that weight problem. Very true. We haven't actually tested that yet, so we're going to test that here, but I assume that would be one reason to be able to max that out, because we'll get to that here. Good point. In a moment. We've never actually tested that out. So now we've got jump assist. Let's install it. You can see it's four servo motors. All you have here is power. How much power do you want to be able to jump? And compensation. Again, how much do you want jumping to be counteracted? Now, full power jumping. Look at this. Oh, because I do have the boots. Let's, let's get rid of the jet boots real quick. Because otherwise, that interferes. So watch, this is no jet boost. This is a full power jump. That is, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> so you come over here, look. So this is what, one, two, three, four, be five blocks I'd have to jump to get up there. What did I jump, 10 blocks or something? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know. This is the full jump here. Maybe, let's get up here like this. Then I'm jumping too high, I can't. All right, what is that? Can I jump up this? Ooh. Yes, and higher. So look at this, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine blocks, it looks like, and I can jump higher than it. So you, you can jump, well, it looks like about 11 blocks. That's insane. So can I jump this? Ugh, even higher. So anyway, the point is, <laughs> you can see when your power jump is at full height. Check that out. I mean, that is insane. Awesome. And again, all you're doing is balancing your power that you're willing to consume with, uh, on these ones, that's all you're balancing is how much power are you willing to consume. Now swim boost here, we'll install that. Again, this one's just thrust. There's no compensation. So if you max that out and we go hop in this water over here, check it out. Look at that. I'm burning through the water. There's no slowdown. Who cares? Aquaman, eat your heart out. <laughs> da -da -da. I'm talking to the squid down here. Hey, squid. I am your father. <laughs> Whew, jump out of the water. So there you go. So, and what does that cost? That one, is, the swim boost is, so that was the war. It's got the thruster, which is expensive. Finally, we have the uphill step assist, which is only two servos. And there's no tinkering, because all it does is allow you to walk up one block high. So let's go. You can walk. No jumping required. I can just walk up all these one blocks. That's actually one of my favorite things. That is definitely one of my favorites just, as well. Just to be able to walk up one block and just cruise. So here you go. There's no tinkering. It doesn't get more powerful. It just allows you to walk up one block. And that, that is the legs. We're building up here. We're building up. Now let's get to the chess piece. Um, now this one has a special item here, but let's go ahead and get the energy shield installed. Let's get our elite battery installed for now. Now you can see this one gives you a glider, a parachute, and a jetpack. Now the jetpack is four ion thrusters. It is super expensive, but it's worth it. The parachute is two parachutes, and you get no tinkering. And your glider is two glider wings, and there's no tinkering. Now the parachutes right here are just string and wool, string and wool, oh, or a pneumatic server, interesting. And then your, your glider wings are nothing but uh, compressed sawdust and a solenoid, or a solenoid and carbon plating, depending on which mod you're coming from. So here we go, now, the now remember I took the rocket thrust off my boots, and you saw Cypher was joining us earlier, that wasn't rocket boots, that is this. Thruster, wait a minute, why am I not? Ugh. More power. I need, I need more. I need more power. What is happening? Oh, I didn't see. There we go. I didn't tinker it. See, it's I haven't, it's no power. So all I was doing was jumping. So let's crank this up to full power. 
Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now this you can move forward. Sort of. You can see I am starting to fall. But if I let go, then I fly back up. The jetpack is awesome. Especially, of course, when you're running, you can just... And you've got your jetpack. It's it's basically... It's like an IC2 jetpack. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Very much so, yeah. That's basically all it is. It's an IC2 jetpack inside your armor with you at all times. And this is where it's nice to have your... Um, your falling boots, no fall damage. Because now I can just drop, I'm here, no damage. But, if you recall, we also made a parachute and a glider. So you'll hit, you need to hit your sneak, sneak key. Here we go, sneak! So I'm falling full speed. Uh, sneak. Activates my parachute, and I glide safely to the ground. Now, the glider also uses sneak, but with the glider, as I'm falling slowly, I can now move, because if you don't have the glider, you can't do this with just the parachute. You can't just move. But now I can glide, and then if I hit spacebar, look at that, I can shoot back up, and then glide. It's very cool. Now, here, if, now we're on Cypher's house here. If I sprint, jump, and instantly glide, I'm slow, but you'll notice, I'm going to glide almost all the way back to this tinker table. I, this is, I mean, come on, this is awesome. Look at that. Look at that distance. That was with no jetpacking. I just sort of jumped. Here he comes. And the jetpack is just the space bar, just like a, I think, IC2 jetpack. You just hold the space bar. Okay. Let's move on to the... Oh, and yes, the, wait a minute. There was also the special one. This one has camouflage, if you want it. Which Look at this. Four hologram emitters, two force field emitters, two control circuits. Now, we haven't looked at the hologram emitters or the control circuit. So let's install it. There's no tinker. Control circuit, where I have those in my inventory somewhere, people. Right here. Circuits, there you go. Or electrum. Okay. And then the hologram emitters are where? Right. Right. Hello. Hologram emitter. It's glass and a bunch of cactus green and glow, it's all these colors and stuff, and then you've got the wiring and stuff like that. Now it's already working, you can see it's invisibility. Alright. And it's got the potion effect. Of course you can still see me because my armor's not invisible. But my arms are invisible, so we, we could take off like the helmet. There you go, you can see. No head. Ah! You have no head, wolf? I'm the headless horseman. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is going to be good. I'm the headless horseman. Modular power suit golem. Oh. <laughs> Take this, Ichabod Crane. Uh. Hmm. It's not as scary when I throw it like three blocks. If I could chuck it like a hundred blocks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're under attack. Now here's the thing. Invisibility, you see, it was instantly instantly activated. You don't get a chance to turn it off. The only way to turn it off is by default you can hit the K button on your keyboard and you have you can see I've already got a bunch of my stuff um, set up. But most every single one of these modules can be set up onto a key to key bind it. You can see I've got my flight control which we haven't gone over yet. I've got jumping, sprinting, jetpacking, my transparent armor, my night vision which we haven't done yet. All those I have set up to be able to turn on and off. So I think we should be able to hit this one. Let's turn it on. Off. There's my head. So you have to key bind, you have to key bind camouflage. Otherwise it's always going to be on. There we go. Uh, now camouflage obviously doesn't do much because your armor is invisible, you're visible. But if you use this transparent armor at the same time and your armor is already transparent, uh, I think I can do that because I have mine set up. So... Oh, we don't have transparency on these this armor, though. But then your armor is invisible, then you can turn invisible as well, and nobody can see your armor. So that is the special power with this one. Finally, it's the helmet. We'll do the same thing. Elite battery. We'll install that. We'll crank it up. Armor, same one. Crank it up. And now, if you notice, let's put it on. We have a full armor bar. Yay! What do we have here? So here we have some environmental things and some special ones. We have a night vision, flight control, and the aura meter if you have thumbcraft, which is kind of cool. 
Then we also get uh, an auto feeder and the water electri electrolyzer. The electrolyzer lets you breathe underwater, and the auto feeder just feeds you as long as you have food. So let's try that one. That one requires a control circuit, two servo motors, and you can determine how efficient you want it to be, how well, how much power do you want it to use, and how well do you want it to feed you. And then the water electrolyzer is just one LV capacitor, and there is no tinker. You just breathe underwater. I'm going in. Do it. <laughs> so you can see it. my bubbles are disappearing. Why don't I have the speed? I thought I got the underwater quickiness. Hmm. But it I thought not, you did too, Aquaman. But it is not swim boost. But it is not working. All of a sudden, it worked before, but it's not working now. Oh, but as you see, the bubbles—they're back, and now they're going down again. I think they get down to three bubbles, right? Three. Nope. Two. One. Full. Oh, there we go. See, right back up. And all that does is use your power. It's using the suit power. Now, at the top of the screen, you can see how much power I currently have in the suit compared to how much total I have. All right, and what was the other one I, what was, what did we just put on? I put on, oh, the feeder. Now, it, it doesn't tell you how much food is in it. But, let's grab some food, and if I stick it in my inventory, you'll notice it just disappears. Like, watch, I'll grab, I'll click it. it and you see down here, it have disappeared. Gone, just like that. You can see it appear for a sec. Gone. It's getting sucked into your, into your helmet, and uh, then your helmet will just feed you. I can be sprinting around, jumping around, doing whatever, and I won't ever notice myself getting hungry because the helmet on it. What? That was creepy. <laughs> uh, because the helmet automatically feeds you. Now, when you look at this, you can see how much arm power is in each set of armor. You can see I've got 650. That one's down to 445. A 5 in each of them shows you. But the cool thing about the power armor is each piece of armor is not independent of itself, each piece of armor feeds the entire suit. So if only one piece of armor had power, your entire suit would have power. That's pretty cool. And it's nice because it seems like, from what I've been able to tell, is that it takes power from the boots first. I have noticed that as well. It seems like it goes boots, legs, chest piece, helmet, and then the power tool. Just kind of works works its way up. So if your power, t power tool was the last item you had left with power in it because you drained everything, your entire suit would still you'd still have full armor and all your special abilities would still work because there's a, so there's power somewhere as long as there's power somewhere. Now we have the power tool, which is its own device. Here we get in here again. You've got and now this doesn't have your um, what would you call it uh, armor. It just has the battery. So Excuse me, I'm going to install the, the full battery. And at this point, it still doesn't do anything. It's just... Like, where are you? Come down here. Whoa. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I just command. So I'll come up, I'll, I'll hit him. And you can see I've got the damage indicator mod. Now, all I have is power, but nothing else on this. When I hit him, no damage. Like he, you, you, but you can see he's still 20 HP. Look at that. I can hit him, hit him, hit him. I can't do anything. There's nothing on here. No power. Or there's power in this thing, but there's no special properties. I can try to dig dirt. You can see it's just as fast as your hand. Doesn't matter. But you just got to see Cypher demonstrated something very cool. So let's get into it, shall we? Okay. So, power tool. Plasma cannon was what you just saw. And then it's got the melee assist. Let's go for that first. Requires the LV capacitor, two servo motors. This gives you two things to tinker with. Your impact is how much damage. And you can see down here, 10 points. And it moves down eight po seven points, eight points. It just uses power. Carry through is knockback. So if we pull power those up to full, now I hit him. You can see he knocked back, what, I don't know, it's five blocks or something. Quite quite a bit. And I don't, now you have to be, keep in mind he's wearing full powered armor, so I'm still not doing a lot of damage to him. But you see I actually did one point that time. And if I hit one, of course now it's harder, but one. I think it's every other hit is one does one. Does half a heart? Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna regenning that so heart fast, yeah. before he's, you even do more damage. So he's regen. No, but yeah, I think it's every other hit. Do my half a heart. So you're doing you do basically you're doing ten points of damage, but because like ooh here's a chicken. Chicken has four hit. I just did ten points of damage to that chicken. You can see. So he's just because he's got the arm armor reduction. Now I believe you get ninety six percent protection with the armor, 
and you get it absorbs 76 points of damage. So if, if you get hurt for more than 76 points, then you're in trouble. <laughs> that's all. So so it absorbs a lot. So that's why he's not getting hurt. But you just saw it did 10 points, which is what I've got to charge it. But that knockback's pretty nice, if you like knockback. I'm, one, I'm not one for knockback myself. So we'll lower that. Now we've got the plasma cannon, which requires two force field emitters, two high voltage capacitors. That's expensive. Now you've got amperage and voltage. One of these... Voltage, you can see, is for explosive damage, 500 millicreepers, <laughs> and amperage is for damage. Now, this can do 20 points of damage. Oh, he's, on, he's aiming that chicken. Now, you just right-click now. Oh, oh, how come I can't do it? How come I can't do it? There it goes. There it goes. Charging up. Here we go. And fire! 20 points of damage and explosive because I had these. Now, you see, Cypher didn't blow up the ground because he doesn't have... Uh, his explosive ability on. He so n does no terrain damage. Now you can just right click real quick and I can fire off a whole bunch of little bolts. You can see one point, one point, but he's barely getting hurt. Look at he's eight. Finally I hurt him a little bit. Those are the tiny bolts. You can just right click. You can spam right click. Now you have to hold the right click down to charge it up. Now if we hit him with this, I'm not sure what it does. Stand still. This is for science, my friend. Ah, uh, yes. You will die for science. So now, science, now we hit him. It did half a heart. Half a heart, full power. But look at the, and then it did this huge explosive damage. So you can see how well protective this armor is. If ever, if you're fighting somebody with this armor, uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no. That's that's my advice. Uh, but we're not done there. It's got all these cool things on it. It's got a multimeter, which I don't use because that's for universal electricity. So I forgot this mod also worked with universal electricity and it's got its own recipes for that so the multimeter is a tool for that I don't use it so I don't build it you can have a shovel a pickaxe and an axe so what do we got you just need iron and a solenoid oh, oh I don't have iron on me because I wasn't prepared for that either so bad I suck <laughs> okay so what do we got shovel we'll install that and then you can you can increase its speed. Look at that. You can go up to 25 times. We'll just show you that. Pickaxe, same thing. Iron in that. You can adjust again. It just uses up power. And then you've got a regular axe. Same thing. Okay. So watch. We've got the shovel at full speed now. And watch how fast we burn through this dirt. Come on. That's I think that's faster than a diamond drill. That is faster than a diamond drill. Look at that. If not faster, it's as fast as a diamond drill. It's at least as fast. You think you, you agree with me? I definitely I mean, agree. Look at that. Having having used a diamond drill for a very long time, uh, that is fast, 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 fast. Want to see it again? Fast. <laughs> so okay, so now what do we need? Um, stone. Here we go. There's some stone right over here. Now this is the pickaxe at full speed. Look at that. Again, probably about diamond drill. Speed here? Mm, yeah. Just about, at least. This is full speed, remember. This is this full speed. And then um, there's a tree right over here. Let's. We've got a full-powered axe. At full power. Here you go. That's the axe. Burns through. Burns through the wood. There you go. So that's a, so again, this is all up to you. You you decide how much how how fast are you comfortable with? I'm not comfortable with a shovel that goes that fast because it's too hard to control when you want like one or two pieces of dirt. So for me, I don't want a shovel that goes that fast, but you 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 guys might want that. Or if you need if you're clearing something out, walk over to your tinker table, crease it, dig something out, and then uh, and then lower it back down later. But we're not done yet. Look at this. We have a blink drive. An in-place assembler, a diamond drill upgrade, an aqua affinity. Aqua affinity is just like the, uh, what's it called? Enchantment. It allows you underwater to drill better and fly. Because flying, when you drill while flying, it's sort of like being underwater. So all that is is a servo motor. And again, you can, how fast do you want it? The diamond drill allows you, basically your pickaxe, to be a diamond drill. Three diamonds. Let's grab some diamonds. There we go. And now we should be able to get that. No tinker there. It's just now it's a diamond drill. Then we have an in-place assembler, which is that circuit, and a crafting table, and the blink drive, which is expensive. Two force field emitters and the ion thruster. There's nothing to tinker with here. And we need a 
crafting table to make the in-place assembler, which is basically just a portable crafting table, and install. There we go, and there's nothing there. Now to access those other tools, you have to hold your sneak bar down, which is generally shift, and you scroll your mouse wheel. And you see in the center there, you see the circle is a blink drive. That's your plasma cannon, and that's my thing. Now when I right click with that, I get a crafting table instead of a plasma blast. Ooh. That's a Dragon Ball Z thing right there, if anybody's excited about it. Absolutely. We've we've already done that. We've already gone. We've, <laughs> we've, all, we've Kamehameha for quite some time. We've nerded out over it. All right, and then the Blink Drive, just basically it fires a, um, what are they called? Ender Pearl. So watch, I hit I right click. There goes the Ender Pearl. Boom, I'm there, you can see. There, we'll fire it right down there at Cypher. Boom, I'm right there. So that's it, it just fires Ender Pearls. You aim them, you fire. They, they have to hit something, though. Like, if you just shoot it in the air, it's not going to fall back down. It just goes. So, let's see if we can hit Cypher with it. And now, hello. <laughs> so, I think fun can be had. It's especially easy when you're up in the air flying around, and so you're like, oh, I, I'm just flying around, and I need to get over there. Why am I going so slow? Hello, what's going on? Oh, it's because I weigh so much. I weigh a lot. I'm weighing more, so you can see it. There we go. So let us, oh, I can shoot that over there. Boom. Okay, so because I've maxed out my batteries, I, I weigh a ton. Even though I'm not wearing any diamond armor or gold, even though my, my armor has no weight to it, because I've maxed out all the batteries, let me show you what happens when you max out the elite battery. Each one weighs 10 kilograms. So what I, right now I have five batteries on me. That's 50 kilograms. Oh, wow. As soon as you hit 25 kilograms, you start getting weighed down. Now, I didn't notice it because I'm walking faster, but part of that reason is because I've got the walk assist, as Cypher mentioned earlier. See, now if I increase the walk assist completely, I'm walking. This is me walking f weighed down. Check it out. Like, That's pretty nice. So you walk next to me because you have half. So you've got. So, ready? Yeah. Go. Now, remember, Cypher's speed is. You set it at half, right? Yes. And so it looks like you're walking just about the same speed as me. Looks like, because I stopped yeah. for a sec. So, so at full, so here you are. You can have, you can be weighed down, incredible, but you increase that walk speed, and you still walk faster than normal in-game speed. But look, I have no jetpack now, because, oh no, I can't. Look, I'm slowing down. I am slowing down as I look. But now as I fall, look, I'm, I'm slowing down. It, it, it's a lot of. It, look, I can't even go back up. I can't go back up. <laughs> like, if Cypher falls before he hits the ground, he can take off again. Go ahead and fall full speed, and then... Hold on, get up higher. Now, if he lets go, he can he can catch himself with the... There you go. See how he just went back up? But because of my weight, I can barely get myself off the ground, and when I fall, uh, I can't do it. I weigh too much. And if I go up and try to go forward, uh, there's nothing there. There is no power. Because of my weight, this is where you have to decide. Like, do you, you know, you can comp, you can get rid of more, you can lower the batteries down, and then weigh less, but you'll have less power. So it's up to you. Now let's put the let's reinstall the jet boots. Let's see what happens if I have jet boots, and we'll thrust those up full power. So now we have the jet boots and the thruster. Look at that. That's a little faster. There we go. So there you go. So you could you could weigh yourself down quite a bit. And if you max out your other items, because if, if you're going to weigh yourself down this much, you've got a lot of power because you've uh, maxed out your batteries. I can jump, of course, and with your thruster boots and your jetpack, you actually get some, you can move now. So that's what's one of the, I mean, you can adjust so much to your play style, whatever you want. If you want blink drives, if you don't want blink drives, if you want thrusters, if you want jetpacks, you don't want a jetpack, don't get a jetpack then. It's up to you. Get in here. Adjust everything. You want how much power do you want? How much, how much speed do you want? What do you want? Now, if you want to change the color, you get the hologram emitter. We install that, and you can see it's just greens, and reds, and you can see live. The power armor is changing the color. So now you see I've got blue, bluish legs. Very cool. Nice. And then we come down here, and you've also got the transparent armor which is just one hologram emitter. You install that, 
And there's nothing there. That just means when you activate it, you can see I, you can see my my boots are gone. They're back, but the armor doesn't drop because they're still on your feet. So, oops. So you can have all your armor be invisible, say. So let's install everything ha can have transparent armor. Now you saw Cypher, like Cypher had, he just had it on his helmet. So he's, he's wearing a helmet right now. Me, now look, I mean, it looks like I'm not, I can walk around the server now. Do, 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 don't mind me. And then the Cypher's like, oh, I'm going to get him. I'm going to get that guy. I'm going to get him. Oh, but he missed because I move. So I'm sitting here and just mind my own business. Oh, but took no damage. Why? Because i am got my armor. Look at that. Boom, boom. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I'm shooting pearls at you. <laughs> well, that works. Oh! All right. So, ooh, he got me. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to turn down the explosive. Okay, so, uh, and then you've got your Citizen Joe, which is free. You just install it. And it changes the look of your armor. You can see this is Citizen Joe right here. What uh, what Cipher has? Absolutely. So the, let's. Uh, if I stand next to him, you can see the difference. Oops, I need to turn around. Here you go. See, so you can see that my boots are now Citizen Joe, but the legs, my chest piece, and my helmet are all normal style. And Cipher has Citizen Joe style. So you just pick. Do you want this regular style? Do you like Citizen Joe? Both of us sort of prefer, prefer Citizen Joe. You kind of got a stormtrooper thing going. That helmet on your. <sighs> These aren't the droids I'm looking for. <laughs> that was stupid. Horrible. Yeah, that's Darth Vader. I know. That's, I'm just, I'm, that's Dumbledore. I'm off tonight. That's Dumbledore, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Picard. <laughs> okay, so I think that's it. We've covered huh? We've covered everything? Oh, we didn't cover flight control or night vision. Night vision. Hologram emitter, control circuit. There's no tinkering. It just allows yeah, night vision is a nice one. That's definitely one to go over. Now, night vision uh, is just like the camouflage. When you turn invisible, it it does the potion effect, but it has to be toggled or it's always on. Let me make it night real quick. Okay, it's on right now. You can see how clearly I'm seeing. Let's turn it off. Boom. Night vision off. Night vision on. So you, you have to hit K and get in here and toggle it because otherwise it's all, you don't have to, but it's always on. And if it's always on, it's con continually consuming power. Of course, if, you pay, if you've been paying attention to the damage uh, indicator, you can see that little eye under Cypher. He's had his night vision on this entire time. He sort of lives with his night vision on. I do. So, night vision on, night vision off. Doesn't matter now. And then the potion effect goes away. So that, I love the night vision too. So, The other thing we have is the flight control, which is only a control circuit. There's no tinkering. This is another one you have to toggle. If you don't toggle it, it's always on, and it will be annoying. <laughs> but what it allows you to do is when I fly now, look at that. I don't fall. I've let go. I'm not falling. And you, you use the Z button to drop, so I can fly up, and I hover, and I can Z, I can fall. And now if I move forward, I move where I'm looking. So like I'm going to look up, and you can see I'm sort of flying. Up. Remember, I'm very heavy right now. Oh, I couldn't sustain my own weight. <laughs> oh, I can't You're do just it. Just too fat. I am too fat. I'm too fat. Look at that. I can barely. Ugh. Come on, get up there. Come on, fatty. Oh, I made it. Oh, whew. that was a. Oh, where'd he go? Ah, that's a close one. So yeah, so it works. I mean, I'm hovering. So if you need to build something, you can hover. But because of my fatness. Uh, I'm having a hard time here. So you have to toggle it because otherwise it'll always be on. So flight control on, flight control off. Now if I fly up, there's no hovering. I just fall. Okay, so I personally, I don't like to have all my bat, my armor that heavy. I like, so I usually put everything in about half, which gives me five kilograms each, which will give me 25 kilograms of weight. And that's the limit. I think it's anything over 25 kilograms means you start to slow down. That's where it hits. And so I'm good with not having the power. Um, Cypher, would you get a MFSU and a high-voltage solar p panel? Set those up? I can do that. All right, so, so now 
we're moving. See, now I've, I can fly easily and fast. We turn the control on. Now when I move, look at now, look how fast I fly around now. <laughs> so this clearly demonstrates the, uh, the power of weight. Now this mod spotlight is going on. We've already hit the 45 minute mark and it's not even done. We've got one more thing we wanted to do for this mod spotlight. I'm going to show you, we're going to show you how to pop, just stick that puppy on top. You don't even need any wires actually. I grabbed the wrong one. Hold on. You can just stick that puppy on top. So you can see how important speed or weight does. You saw the difference there when I was flying around. All right, so now you can just use an MFSU to power it up. Oh, you know what? There are a few other things. Um, there's a solar generator right here that requires a solar panel and two control circuits. So we can install that. And then the legs give you, where is it? A kinetic generator, which require two servo motors and a control circuit. And this one, you can see, you can adjust how much, but you can see it weighs, it, gets a it makes it heavier. So now I can be generating power because I don't have full. You can see 770. My boots are already down to 13.8. But with a solar panel on and the kinetic boots, now as I move around and the sun itself is helping to power everything. So look at I'm up to 23.4, 25.4. This is just from the solar panel, 27. And then I move around. How are we doing on this? It's filling up. So now you can see this. You can power your own suit, which is great for vanilla because in vanilla Minecraft, there's no way to power your suit. If you expend your power, you have to make a new suit. But now with the solar panel and kinetic panel, it's not a problem. Now we can just take this off. You just stick it in the MFU. Check it out. Stick the boots in. And there it goes. Power's up. I'm not quite sure what the conversion rate is. How many EU per um, M, M here. But just basically you just do this and you just power your suit up and you are good to go. That's all it takes. Or again, just walk around with a solar panel and a kinetic generator, and you'll probably never need to come back and power it up, or very rarely, depending on how truly intensive you use your suit. I have drained most of my suit playing around in the nether, because I'll have night vision on, I'm flying, I'm sinking in lava, I'm getting hit by monsters, and every time you get hit with the energy armor, it takes away power. I've nearly drained it in the nether for long periods of time, but that's the fun of this armor, that I could do even do that. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to come back in just a moment. We're going to set up. We're going to compare mo uh, power suit armor to a few other fairly popular sets of power armor, such as quantum armor, gravitational armor, nano armor. And we're going to see how this armor compares using the damage indicator with a few different types of weapons. We'll be right back. Stay tuned for part two of the mod spotlight for the modular power suit. Wolf and I, we kind of beat up on each other. It's a lot of fun.